Hi, my name is Patrick Desjardins, and in this video, you will learn what is TypeScript. We will proceed by breaking TypeScript in eight parts that once together paint a 360 picture of the language. Talking about language, TypeScript is a, ty is a programming language. You write in TypeScript. TypeScript code file as a period ts extension. TypeScript is not a virtual machine like Microsoft.NET or Java. It is not a system that runs code. A programming language is like English or French, a way to write code to have in a later stage a computer running the instruction. TypeScript is also an executable, also known as TSC, that transpile the TypeScript's language into JavaScript, or should I say, to a specific version of ECMAScript. A transpiler is similar to a compiler. A compiler transforms the developer's code into machine code. However, TypeScript does not infuse into machine code, but into different standards, ECMAScript, for scripting languages such as JavaScript. TypeScript is built by Microsoft and maintained by Microsoft. TypeScript is a project with a funded team that releases to the public version every two months since October 2012. Anders Ellsberg managed the TypeScript team and he is the creator of Turbo Pascal, Delphi, C Sharp, and now TypeScript. Ellsberg graduated in the 80s, has received many awards, and is career. Having such a prolific engineer at the head of TypeScript boosts the maturity of the language. TypeScript is an open source project. The source code and roadmap are available on the website github.com. Everyone can contribute by proposing additional and explaining a bug or even add features or correction with pull requests. Having a code open means that the language is not wall garden to Microsoft. With open source, everyone can read how TypeScript is built or take the code to create a copy. For example, in the event that Microsoft halt working on TypeScript, any other companies or individual could lead a new team to keep the project alive. TypeScript is far from being used only by its creator, Microsoft. While it's true that many Microsoft products use TypeScript, such as Microsoft Teams, Azure, the online version of Office, and Visual Studio Code, to say the least, other technology giants have been borrowing the advantages of static typing. Google has been using TypeScript since Angular 2. Slack has migrated their JavaScript code base to TypeScript as well. And other companies like Ubisoft, Asana, Ericsson, Upwork, Bloomberg, and Lyft are following suit. The reason I'm mentioning these systems that use TypeScript is to highlight the investment of thousands of developers and the millions of lines written with TypeScript. TypeScript is a static typing language. It means that TypeScript's tooling analyzes the code while the developer types the code, contrary to receive limited and later feedback at runtime. You can imagine TypeScript as a helping helper sitting on your shoulder that is pointing every little error that you are making while typing the code, while having a constant reminder at every wrong keystroke might sound disruptive. It was proven that the efficiency of fighting earlier in the lifecycle bugs reduced the cost of building software. On the other spectrum, JavaScript does not have a static typing analysis, and errors are found at runtime. Talking about JavaScript, TypeScript is a subset of JavaScript, or I should say a superset. A superset signifies that everything available in JavaScript is available in TypeScript, but with more. TypeScript employs the same library, the same code, the same syntax, the same module management, the same systems to execute the code, and more. TypeScript adds a code around JavaScript by bringing types to variables and functions. TypeScript is not a web language, but a programming language. While many developers code with TypeScript in a web application, 
TypeScript is executable as any local programming language to any operating system. Thus, the programming language is writable and executable in a variety of environments. If I recapitulate in one sentence what is TypeScript, I would say that it is a programming language financed by a billionaire company with an open spirit source code that can be used in conjunction of one of the most popular language JavaScripts to any machine while improving your efficiency by alerting you as soon as possible. So here we go again. We are at the fork where you need to make a decision. Are you going to go left? Are you going to go right? Remember that any path is the good path since it's your path. Would you like to go in the left fast, which is to know better TypeScript and learn why you should use TypeScript and about the difference between TypeScript and JavaScript? Or would you rather learn about how TypeScript is in general? Regardless of your choice, it was the right one because it was your choice. See you soon.